welcome to Savor This from the team over at Savor Recipes. Some of you may know me, but for those who don't, my name is Lauren and I am from the blog Delicious Little Bites. And I am here in the kitchen today with my son. Hi, I'm Jackson. And we are going to be making a really easy kid-friendly recipe today. We're making pizza bites. So let's show you guys the ingredients and some of the toppings we're going to be using today. We are making a half batch of the Pizza Bites recipe on Savor's website. The full recipe calls for two cups of grated cheddar cheese, a third cup of chopped pepperoni, and two seven and a half ounce tubes of regular sized buttermilk biscuits for a total of 20 biscuits. However, things are a little strange right now and our store did not have the buttermilk biscuits in that size. And so we're going to be using larger biscuits, you can see here. And we're going to be cooking them a little bit differently than the instructions um, because of the size of the biscuits. We've also added a few additional ingredients to show you some variations. We have shredded mozzarella cheese, some diced Canadian bacon, broccoli, and pineapple. And then we'll be dipping these in some warmed marinara sauce when they're all finished. Okay, so before we get started assembling our pizzas, we need to decide how we're gonna cook them. So we've decided that we're gonna bake them. So we have a foil line baking sheet here, but you can also cook them in a frying pan. Um, so if you wanna do that method, you'll find the directions for that on Savor's website, savorrecipes.com. Um, and I will talk to you about how to do it in the, on the baking sheet today. So the first thing you wanna do is take one of your biscuits and you're just gonna gently stretch it out and make it a little thinner and about three inches around. And then since we are doing this on a baking sheet, after I get it stretched out, I'm just gonna set it on the baking sheet. Jackson's working on one off to the side there as well. And then you're gonna add your toppings. So on Savor's website, the recipe calls for cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna put some cheddar cheese in the middle and chopped up pepperoni. So we'll put that on there and then I'm just going to wet this around the edge. I just have a little bowl of water here that I'm dipping into with my finger. And I'm going to fold it over and press it together to seal it. And just kind of pinch it all together. Make sure it's nice and sealed so it doesn't pop open while you're baking it. There's one. Okay, so Jackson, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Um, I really like the Hawaiian pizza. With ham and pineapple? Yeah. Yep, that's why we had Canadian bacon as part of our toppings today and some chopped up pineapple. So why don't you put yours over here, Jackson, on the foil so we can see what you made. There's Jackson's. Now you just need to dip your finger in and rub some water around the edge here. Looks like you've used both cheeses, some ham and some pineapple. Very nice. So we have our toaster oven heated to 350 um, and we're gonna cook these for about 13 to 15 minutes. You can cook these in a regular oven too. We're just using the toaster oven because it's convenient for us. So we're gonna pop these in here. Start the timer and then when they're all finished, we'll show you what they look like. So our pizza bites are done baking. Just gonna pull those out of here. You can see they're nice and browned. And then we're gonna let them cool for a little bit before we break them open. Jackson has his ham and pineapple pizza bite, and I have my broccoli cheddar pizza bite here. They've cooled down a little bit now. We're going to give them a try. And we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to grab the link at the, in the details of this video to get the full recipe and instructions. And we'll see you guys again soon. Bye.